Welcome back to the Automotive Blockchain channel, everyone. I do appreciate everyone who has subscribed. We have crossed the 50 subscriber barrier, so I am now pushing to 100 subscribers. But thank you all, uh, thanks to all those that have subscribed. Today, we are going to be talking about Volvo and their investment with Circular for blockchain technology. But prior to that, let's go ahead and look at how VeChain and IOTA are doing in the markets. As we get ready to dive into this with VeChain and IOTA, I just wanted to say to everyone that this should not be taken as financial advice. Um, in no way uh, is this channel about giving financial advice for any cryptocurrency. This is for information purposes only, in some cases, entertainment. All right, so VeChain, and also in the comments, I want to know why you think the differences between the prices of VeChain and IOTA exist. Do you think that IOTA should be lower or that VeChain should be higher? So just let me know in the comments section. VeChain, as of today, is right now sitting at 0 0.021. That's 0 0.021, so two cents, just a little over two cents. And 30 days ago, just about 30 days ago, VeChain was at 0 0.018. And now, as you know, it is sitting up here at 0 0.021. So the increase in and of itself is substantial as a percentage. And I personally, uh, I do HODL VeChain uh, myself. I enjoy the company, I enjoy their projects. That said, IOTA, currently sitting at 40 cents at the time that I am doing this video. And as they are um, moving along as well, it has jumped substantially um, over the past 30 days. About 30 days ago, IOTA slash MIOTA was sitting at 0.25 at 25 cents and now they're at 40 cents. So when you have both of the sites up side by side, you can see here, I just kind of put them in this particular mode. And if you look at the solutions of what they provide um, and getting an idea, you have here, you know, they offer a number of different types of solutions. Automotive is only one aspect of it. So I say this again in the comment section, let me know what you think um, as it pertains to the pricing of these and what they're, you know, the what they're going for in the exchanges and why you think one is higher than the other. I definitely like to hear some of your comments. And do you think that, quite frankly, uh, they should be kind of equal at price? So let's move on to Volvo. In this article from electricdrive.com, it shows Volvo invest in circular for blockchain technology. So what is this looking like? All right, so Volvo Cars has invested in Circular, a British blockchain specialist, so that Swedish car manufacturer can make origin of raw materials for transparent in the future, or to be more transparent in the future. The two companies have not disclosed the amount of the investment. Now, just as a quick note, Circular, as it reads here, is a British-owned company, a specialist in blockchain. They have partnered with other manufacturers as well. Um, you can see here earlier this year in 2020 that they uh, linked up and partnered with Daimler slash Mercedes-Benz for conducting a pilot program for transparency in CO2. Um, Circular of themselves, just so you can get an idea about them, they do focus on, um, and you can read right from their own site here, uh, extractive, uh, extractive industries and a number of different things. You can see here there's plastic and waste recycling. In this particular case, as it pertains to the cobalt extractive industry, the circular system enables suppliers and buyers to follow raw materials through the production process, something that has not previously been possible. So materials like cobalt, tantalum, mica, etc. Um, uh, are associated with issues such as child labor, slavery, theft of natural resources, and that's from those particular countries, environmental damage, and human rights abuses. So I just wanted to kind of bring that up. But this, the, the tracking the, the supply chain from the very, very beginning is extremely important. And it goes down here to say in this final paragraph right here, under extractive industries, for manufacturers, this is the mainstream problem. Uh, and in many cases, uh, they don't buy these materials. I repeat, Volvo or Mercedes-Benz may not be buying these materials, but they may be directly associated or incorporated into their products, sometimes by the tier three or tier four providers. So they have to track it the whole way back. Now, back over to the article. Uh, the links in the description will be to Circular down below, um, but the new agreement with Circular should uh, should make it possible to include other materials in the blockchain in the future, such as mica and minerals used in insulating materials in electronic Volvo battery packs. According to Volvo, the circular technology developed 
uh, corporation or in cooperation with uh, K or CATL and LG Chem. Now CATL, just so everybody understands this, is a very large Chinese company that manufactures uh, batteries, whom of which earlier in the year you can see here, uh, just uh, kind of another article, uh, CATL to supply batteries for Mercedes-Benz, a new electric vehicle. So I kind of just showing you these in tandem that there is a move in the industry. CATL is linked up with a number of different manufacturers, not just Volvo, not just Mercedes-Benz, but also you can see them over here uh, linking up with Toyota for a comprehensive partnership for energy or for new energy vehicle batteries. So. Um, there are articles all over the place about CATL, um, you know, linking up with different companies. It is a Chinese company. Um, that I believe they're located in the Shenzhen province or Shenzhen uh, area of China, which I believe is central part of China. Um, you can look that up. But at this rate, according to the Swedish company headquarters, the cobalt used in the new Volvo XC40 recharge is 100% traceable. So by 2025, uh, the company wants to cover half of its worldwide sales with purely electric cars. That's aggressive, guys. Uh, and there are a lot of manufacturers pushing for that. So I just want to say to this is that if you're thinking about investing or, or thinking about looking to buy the cryptocurrencies associated with some of these, aka VeChain or IOTA, um, you may want to think about this. They're looking to convert uh, and cover half of its worldwide sales to purely electric cars. You have to think that the, that the entire supply chain um, is going to have to also be integrated throughout. So keep that in mind as you're thinking about investments. So these, uh, in my humble opinion, VeChain and IOTA, as far as the automotive side of things go, is really going to take place going into, in my opinion, 2023 into 2025, where things will really start to tick up. So that said, moving on in the article, according to Volvo, the cooperation could help Circular to potentially set standards for ethical sourcing in the automotive and other industries. The Volvo Cars Tech Fund was set up in 2018 to attract promising startups, especially in the technology sector. Its investments focus on strategic technology trends that could change the automotive industry. Following a successful pilot project, Circular and Oracle will operate the blockchain throughout the, uh, the CATL supply chain in the summer. Literally, we are in the summer that this article is talking about, and this just came out just the other day. So we have, just as a quick summary of all this, we understand that overall, Volvo is getting deeper and deeper involved into uh, blockchain, uh, just like many of the other manufacturers. And as it is a Swedish uh, automotive company, I just wanted to kind of throw this out there that Sweden is testing its new central bank digital currency. Um, and this article came out earlier this year. I'm not going to get into the article, but I just wanted to let you know that as they are running this test and, uh, you know, and they're looking into it, keep in mind that they will more than likely be backing some of this, in my opinion, with whatever their digital currency will be. Some people say it'll be the e-crone but it'll be their central bank digital currency and they'll be able to run it on that particular platform from there. So let me know what you think of the article. Please hit the like button and also subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you on the next video.